Welcome to Sky Factory 4. Yep, I thought I'd try the brand newly released Skyblock pack and we'll see how well it goes. Um, if you have any particular comments whether you want to see more of the FTB interactions or more of a Skyblock 4, do let me know in the comments down below. I do want to hear your opinions. However, I uh, thought we'd get started. Now, this isn't how you actually start the map, but I thought we'd skip the early bit, which is very, very boring. You start off with a a tree on top of one block of dirt and you're on top of the tree. Be careful when you're going down, put blocks underneath, uh, right next to the tree stump so that you can get the drops underneath the leaves. Now, um, the drops are important. You'll get dirt resin, dirt acorns and dirt saplings. The saplings are obviously the most important to start off with. You don't really need, need both of those to, to start with but you do need the sapling because you need to be able to put another one down after you break the blast, last wood block. There's no fast leaf decay. There is ore excavation, i.e. vein miner, but it doesn't seem to work on trees yet. And of course I have, well, not of course, but I have enabled prestige in this particular playthrough. So whether um, I use that or not, well, we'll see once I actually get to, get to it. So if you look at your quest book that you used to born with, you'll see you've got to get the, obviously get started, fine, but you're going to get the dirt acorn and the dirt sapling. And then you can use those to make more dirt. Straightforward recipe. There's two ways around. You can either do this. So, oops, um, this. And that gets you regular dirt. Or you can put it the other way around. Um, not that way. This way around. And you get dirt amber. I think they're the same, as far as I know. I don't think there's much difference. Um, let's have a look. Uh, they can both be used as dirt, so yeah. Grow time, 100%. Drop chance, 100%. And is dirt any different? Well, it doesn't actually say for dirt. In any case, uh, you can choose whichever one you want. However, it depends on what drops you get, as so which way around you get it. Okay. So, with that done, we need to then get on to a few other things. We need to basically get towards cobblestone, and to do that, oh, there's no real way around it right now, we need to basically change our dirt acorns into petrified dirt acorns, if I remember. Uh, that needs drying racks. So we need to basically put them on drying racks, which needs them to make a few things. First of all, some kind of wall to put the drying rack on. So I guess we could just put that uh, out here. Um, so I'm going to have to just put a wall up for a second. And then we're going to put slabs on top of it, just so that we don't get anything spawning too much. It's uh, It's just nice and available. Uh, let's just grab some of these. Let's just make some more slabs. And more wall. And just about enough to actually hit the top of the wall. There we go. And I want more. Yeah, why don't we just finish this off. And the distance around these uh, these dirt blocks is obviously it's well with slabs, but it's the bottom slabs so that things don't spawn. And I'm just making sure that it's extending at least two out from each of the uh, the dirt blocks because uh, we want it to catch as many, much of the saplings as possible. We we don't want those saplings to fall away and be wasted in the void. So let's just get those done. Um, I need to basically build pieces of wall there we go it's going dark so why don't we craft those drying racks they use wood slabs if I remember rightly yeah so we're going to convert um, let's just get nine of them well actually let's just convert them all because I always get more wood that's easy enough and then we can just put them down can we actually double stack them no oh, that's not mm, no because it's covered up okay fine let's uh, put a long line of them no I can place them against there Seems a little odd, but it works. Sort of like a guardrail. And then we can then convert across our dirt acorns to petrified acorns. Okay, we've got nine of them. And that means I'm gonna be out of uh, I'm not gonna be out of dirt until these grow, which of course you can do by regular uh twerking, I guess. I've never really been fond of this method, but it is certainly better than bone meal, so yeah, it seems to be standard these days. And um, yeah, it seems to grow everything quite fast. So from that, I can then get, of course, more wood. Again, no ore excavation doesn't work with wood. Annoying, but uh, true. Let's get a few more pieces. Yep, 
You're not going to break? Oh, my axe is broken. Fair enough. Uh, let's just get actually another... In fact, I don't need one. <laughs> I have a terrible axe, but let's uh, replace that with uh, an okay terrible axe. There we go. All right, so now this is going to take a, a certain amount of time. Oh, there they are. They're starting to get replaced. So let's grab them. And there are a few uses for these. By the way, the default controls are not mapped. So in my case, I had to unmap other things that were assigned to U and R so that I can uh, hover over and press U. Also, similarly, uh, the quest key is L by default. I changed that to backslash because it's right next to where my WSAD keys are. Uh, you can, of course, choose what you wish. And I think there's P for prestige. P? Yeah, okay, so prestige points. We have no prestige points. That would be really nice if I could um, zoom out. No? Okay, so uh, hop a bonsai to further allow cost one prestige point. Doesn't quite say just yet how we get prestige points, but uh, switch background. None of those are any better. <laughs> okay, why not? Why not? <laughs> Fine. Uh, let's take a look at the uses for petrified acorns. Uh, yeah, so you can make cobblestone with it, your first cobblestone. You need petrified resin as well, so we'll need to put some resin down. Why don't we actually just get that done while we're doing other things? So let's, uh, let's put a long line of resin in. Uh, ugh, trees are in the way. Only downside of building trees so close. There we go. And we're getting more of these. So let's just put these in as well. I'm sure we'll get the uses for them. Okay, so. That's one use. We can make marble if we have bone meal, but we're not going to need that just yet. We can, however, go up to petrified saplings with petrified acorns and a dirt sapling. We're definitely going to want to do that. Petrified saplings, uh, if we put them in bonsai trees, which we're going to get this, uh, we need this bonsai pot to do that, and I want that quite quickly. Uh, we'll drop petrified stuff by default. So I, yeah, I want to head towards whatever bonsai pot takes. That takes bricks, which takes clay. Clay is crafted from... Um, not going to use slag recipe. Uh, clay amber, which is made from clay resin and clay acorn. How do you get clay acorns? Clay sapling. And petrified resin, dirt resin, and dirt sapling. We can use this recipe right now. We just need the petrified resin, and we can make the clay sapling. So let's just do that. Ugh, that's not converted yet. Why not? Okay. Let me wait until they are converted, and we'll come back to create that clay sapling. And they won't convert because they don't actually do that. There is no conversion from the from the um, what was it called uh, dirt resin. You can, however, make the petrified sapling, which I just did, and that should stop us needing to use the drying racks for that. And the petrified sapling will drop petrified acorns, and you'll also be able to get the the petrified uh, resin from the wood that goes through the center. So uh, as long as this drops another sapling, I'll be all right. Uh, it may not do, I may have to craft another one. In any case, uh, we then can move on to a clay sapling, I think. I've just rescaled the UI here a little bit so that it's easier to see, clay sapling. Yep, and we should build to uh, clay acorn. No, we need this recipe, so we need a clay sapling. And we need a space for said clay sapling. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, where should we put it? Let's put it down here. Put our petrified sapling back, because we're probably going to need that as well. And then we need to grow this. So we need to get as much clay materials as possible. And I'm going to need to make, we'll to make bricks, aren't I? So which needs me to get cobblestone, because I'm going to need to cook that clay up. So clay, uh, to get the bricks, is going to need a regular smelting, I would imagine, unless there's any kind of uh, furnace slab. That's usually cheaper to actually get. And these cobblestone slabs, which needs, well, it's going to need six cobblestone. Six cobblestone are going to be from crafting uh, these. So petrified resin, petrified acorn are what I need right now until I get six. So I need uh, 30 resin and I need, um, yeah, I'm going to need uh, 24 acorns. Right, I'm going to need to craft a few more of these then. Okay, that should be enough materials. Let's get the cobblestone. So cobble, and uh, let's just craft it. So we can just shift and click. I get six out. Let's convert those across to uh, slabs. I need 
eight of them, I imagine. Yeah, we get a furnace slab. And then can we just get rid of you for a second? Get a furnace slab in, we can. Does that affect spawning? Doesn't appear to. Um, no, doesn't appear to. Good. And then we can then craft up lots of stuff. One of the things is, of course, we can convert wood into charcoal, I would imagine. Yep. Um, obviously, we want to use different uh, kind of things other than wood, but uh, that's fine. Get charcoal. And then we can also, or should be able to, get clay bricks once we craft the clay. Now we have clay resin, so we're getting to get clay from that. So we can make a couple of clay, easy enough to make now. And that will get us a couple of clay blocks, which we can, of course, just immediately change into the clay itself. And I'm going to just want to, um, I did already craft one bonsai pot, but I'm going to need to craft another one. Uh, we've got some bricks already, so I only want two in our furnace. And I'll make another bonsai pot. However, the rest, I think we're going to want to make a clay bucket at some point, so we may as well make one. Uh, there we go, unfired, and then we'll fire that in the furnace as well. That won't take very long, it's nearly done with this. And the ones I pot are very useful. They will uh, not automatically decant into the chest yet because we need the hopping bonsai I pot for that. However, they will give you resources just by right clicking once. Okay, and there's a, it's a random set of resources. If you want to move them, just shift right click and move them somewhere else. I think I'm going to move them sort of, uh, well, it won't let me put them there because of the, um, the drying rack, I assume. Um, yeah put them a little bit closer. I'll probably build another section for them. We're going to need lots of them, I imagine, over time. But in the meantime, you can get more resources just by actually putting down trees than you can by hopping bonsai pots. They take a while to grow. You want them to automatically decant to be able to, to do this properly. So we can then fire a bucket and make another hopping bonsai. Uh, oh, sorry, another bonsai pot. You do actually need uh, some dirt. So let's use that dirt amber. And um, we don't need a chest. We just need to choose what to grow. In this case, I want clay. Okay, so um, that can go down there for now. Dirt, clay sapling, and away it goes. It's already grown. So you just right click the, the, the bonsai pot itself, not the tree, and you'll get the resources. So we got the rest of the quest done. We need to cook some acorns. So let's just grab some of those dirt acorns and let's cook them up. Uh, let's do all three. That gets me a clay bucket, which is going to be useful. Um, and then it's going to head us towards, we need to make a bone sapling and a gravel sapling. Okay, bone sapling. Uh, how are we going to make one of those? Uh, yes, well, bone meal seems obvious, but how are we going to get bone meal? I don't necessarily want to craft a mob farm at this particular point. So there may well be another way around it. Um, although maybe, oh no, cauldron. Yeah, I guess we can get bone meal from a cauldron. Uh, we can make a wooden cauldron, so that should be straightforward. Okay, so wooden cauldron, we just need some wood. And we're gonna need to make a gravel sapling, I imagine, because it needs gravel to be able to do this, but uh, we have the cauldron available. And that does mean we're probably gonna want water for this, I would have thought, so let's just put that down there. And uh, we need that uh, method of water production. So we need those crushing, um, crushing, what are they called? Crushing tubs. And put these down somewhere as well. So why don't I just craft these off, off the, well, put these on the end. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to go for, for multiple stacks, but mm, possibly. All right, so we've got five there and we can crush stuff down like saplings, I would imagine. So let's just take half these saplings and see if I can convert this into water. Um, it's going to be 10 of them, I would have thought. So let's just put 10 and see if that converts over. I need to wait or unless I need to do anything with the crushing tub itself. So I need something to crush things down with into the crushing tub. Uh, crushing tub, um, it does not say. We can get olive oil out of it. Oh, that's quite useful. Um, <coughs> excuse me, my throat's going. Yeah, so one sapling equals 100 water, so uh, 100 miller buckets. So we're going to need 10. And, um, hmm, I mean, let's check whether that needs anything to crush that down in. <laughs> in what is a very good part, a very good um, sort of mod development, you just have to jump up and down <laughs> on this to crush things. Uh, we're going to want to automate that, uh, I think. 
Yeah, so that now should hopefully have a full uh, bucket of liquid. Yes, and we can put that into our cauldron. And, uh, well, do we need a heat source underneath it? Otherwise, I may have to just put it on, on, well, on top of a furnace or something. Let's see. Uh, so the cauldron recipe, we need to, first of all, get the gravel sapling. That's so what we need gravel. Let me just check the uh, the cauldron recipe first, though. Gravel, cauldron, it does not say other than anything that put gravel in, so we're going to need gravel sapling. And that is from gravel acorns. That's no good. I need to craft those first. And petrified saplings. And we can get... Ah, okay. So we can convert petrified acorns into gravel acorns. We're going to need eight of them. We're going to get saps as well, a sap as well. So uh, petrified acorns, we're going to get eight of those. And you're going to get crushed down as well. This is this may take... <laughs> I'm going to need to... Oh, no, I've lost one already. I'm going to need to automate them. Um, yeah, that, that needs automating somehow. Not sure how yet. There we go. Eight. Fine. And a petrified sapling. Do we have one available? Petrified. Petrified. Okay. One thing in this mod pack, it does seem to be quite entertaining as far as just the mod pack choices. So, yeah. Gravel acorn, gravel sapling. Good. And for the first one, we can probably put it down and uh, get stuff out of it that way. So, again, just the usual. Let's hope this grows pretty quickly. Uh, they usually do, but uh, I normally cut forwards. And here it's grown, and the good part about having all these different uh, these different resources via trees is just that you get wood, you know, alongside them. You don't have to worry about wood because you, you're worrying about other resources and you're getting wood uh, as a consequence. So, uh, yeah, so gravel resin, okay, and uh, petrified leaves that came from one of the bonsai pots. Some more stuff will should drop down there, and uh, now we just need gravel. So, is it gravel? Is it going to be gravel acorns sort of thing again? Yeah, it's going to be gravel acorns. So I've got eight gravel resin. I just need the acorns from the trees. And this will be really handy for it to do ore excavation, but it's not working. I do not know why. Uh, maybe it's an upgrade. I hope it's an upgrade. We get flint out of the tree as well. Cool. All right. So there's our gravel. We'll take that and I'm going to put that in the cauldron. Let's see whether that actually changes. It changes immediately to bone meal. So bone meal sapling should then be available. So bone sapling. Yep. And that's going to need eight bone meal though. So I need to make more of this stuff. We only got three. So I'm going to need um, two more gravel and I'll convert them over and then we'll use those to make the bone meal sapling. That'll complete this first set of quests entirely apart from cooking acorns. Did I actually put those in? I did. Dirt acorn roasted. Um, they give a very, very small amount. Yes, I did note that however culinary, culinary construct is in this, this pack, which is basically, uh, as I've heard it described, Tinker's construct, but for sandwiches. So if you want custom sandwiches, we're going to be able to make them in this pack. <laughs> Fine, I'm going to go get some more resources. We'll get towards uh, gravel and then we'll head towards, we need the cottonwood and sand, and I really would like a prestige point. So I'm going to look up how we get our first one of those. Ah, I found out. Well, this is something for you to consider. Uh, I think you just need to basically do a request in this first tab to be able to unlock prestige. Um, there is then a, uh, a reason for this. Uh, basically, it, it's a basically a harder playthrough if you uh, use prestige. Because you can't craft a hopping bonsai until you unlock it. So a lot of this stuff is locked behind here, including that ore excavation, apparently. So uh, that will work once we unlock it. However, <laughs> everything seems to come out from that hopper bonsai. So it basically wants us to actually get through this entire quest tab first. So I'm going to carry on working through. I'm not going to show you the rest of the saplings because they're, they're similar kind of processes, unless there's any new blocks involved. So I'm going to work through these and we'll join us when we come back over to... Um, well, we'll see how far we get because there's lots of... There's lots of stuff down there. Maybe towards iron. Iron seems like a good thing to untin. Yeah, we'll come back for those and I'll craft these in the meantime. So a bit of a tidy up later. I've been crafting some more stuff. We have the barrels, drum, storage and more mod. So this sort of takes space of storage drawers. Uh, for here, I've just got a wooden crate, which is like a one by one. I haven't seen any two by two or, you know, uh, two, well, either a two, 
different type storage or four different types storage in one block. I've only seen this single one, so that, that, that's fine. Um, and I've just tidied up everything up here. Um, again, these are not hopping versions yet. So I've got all my saplings in here, my various different um, resins and acorns, and then everything else. So if you have a server like mine well, that starts to rain whenever you don't want it to, do place down cauldrons because cauldrons will collect the water and that is more useful than having to crush up um, saplings in these, although you do get very different things from, from crushing, not just water. To get further, uh, there's a few things you want. You want, first of all, you want grass blocks. Uh, that's going to be needed, and grass blocks are not terribly hard to make. You just need to get mud, first of all, and you're going to want to get leaves, I think it is. So if you get uh, some a cauldron with water in it, and you put dirt in it, and then leaves in it, you should get a grass block, and of course you can put this down. Of course, once you get one grass block, you don't need to craft more. You can just put down dirt and it should spread. Uh, but you will want that to bone meal and we'll get other stuff from it later. So we may as well start off a grass platform. And of course, you want to keep it lit because unlike this half slabs, it can spawn mobs. Now, um, where was I going to go from there? I was going to go to lava. Lava's going to need a little bit more, um, well, preparation. We just want to, first of all, can I just get one of those torches? Yeah, I'm just going to put it over... Uh, let's just say over here for now. Uh, I can't put it down that block, can I? I can put it on top of this, I suppose. Uh, yeah, or I could put it attached to the wall. Let's just put it attached to the wall. Hopefully this isn't going to cause fires, but, you know, it's always a risk. There we go. So attach one to the wall. And then we're going to need a... The similar thing to the crucible in, in most sky blocks is this... I assume it's the stone cauldron. So let's try this anyway and give it a go. So we need eight cobblestone. They take a little while from your petrified trees to make. But once we have one, hopefully we shouldn't need another one for a while. And then in here, if we put cobblestone in, it will make lava. Yep. You do need a torch underneath it, I believe. But it is instant, unlike uh, other sky blocks. So, can we actually just get a... No, we're going to need three more cobblestone to do that. Fine. How far off from some more cobblestone am I? Uh, let's just take a look at how much resin I've got. Um, I'll take the other stuff out of it in a second. I just want to see. I've only got enough for... Uh, hang on. Where's the petrified resin? Uh, petrified? No, I've not even got enough for one. I'm going to need to craft three more cobblestone, and then we should have enough for a clay bucket of lava. And we'll also need a clay bucket of water, so I'll collect this as well, because we're going to be making the cobblestone generator. This. And of course, I'm going to need even more cobblestone, because I need to make six more. So I need nine, and I need some glass. Okay, so glass is anything special, or can we just get sand from our uh, sand sapling tree? Looks like sand, and we can get sand from the resin from our sand tree, so we can actually make that. More cobble, a uh, little bit laborious to start with cobble, but uh, once we get a cobblestone generator, of course, that problem goes away. And I should note, one of the quests are to sleep in a bed, so please do that. And uh, that should get us through the night, hopefully. Yep. And that has unlocked another thing. So we're about halfway through this first tab now, and uh, that's the one we're heading for. Hot boys. Uh, create love by using right click on a cauldron while holding uh, cobble. Let's it in a clay, a regular bucket, and then, of course, you can craft the um, cobblestone generator, which is exactly what we need. This is the other thing here. We've got crooks, but I don't necessarily need saplings um, just yet, but the increased saplings drops if you want to create those, so we will have to craft one. Let me just have to craft one now. Um, is it just a regular crook recipe? Yes, it is. And there is a stone one. I'm not going to waste the stone on crafting one just yet. Back to crafting stone. There we go. A couple more pieces of cobblestone done. We can get those into a crafting grid. We're going to need the water clay bucket. We're going to need the uh, piece of glass. Hopefully that vanilla glass will do. Grab ourselves a bucket of lava. And now we should be able to craft a cobblestone generator. Good. Now, I think it fills... Yeah, you can't put to inventory above or hopper below. Uh, in this case, we probably want to go to inventory above, and it needs to. We need to fill a vanilla chest. So before I actually switch to using like a wooden crate, and I do actually want to switch to the wooden crates anyway. So we're going to just craft an extra one, unless I've already got some. No, let's craft one of those, and that's what we'll use going forward. But first of all, you get the achievement for 
the vanilla chest. So let's just put this down over here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put it right next to here. There we go. And cobblestone generator, vanilla chest. And that should start filling with cobblestone. Good. That's going to take a while to fill, though. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to do it. Ooh, bacon tree, bacon sapling. Hmm. Yes, uh, you remember in previous packs where we've had, like, resource chickens and stuff like that? Well, this pack is resource pigs, of course, because you get bacon from pigs. So, uh, yes, the next thing we need to get into is Tin Man and Tin this pack. Uh, we need to make Tin Amber for that, so we can already do that. If we have a look here, I think, well, we get one clay bucket back. We're not the lava one, obviously, because it's, it's not an iron bucket. Uh, we have Tin Amber. Okay, and can we shift click this in? We need Flint. Uh, flint, there it is. And it's made from all the different kinds of resin. So bone, clay, gravel. That makes us a tin amber. So we can craft that. Good. And uses for tin amber. Well, we can smelt it up to get tin ingots, of course. Uh, that's going to be useful. What is the quest wanting us to do, though? Because we want to unlock this as much as possible. Pour molten tin over a butch sapling to make a tin sapling. Uh, we need molten tin, and pouring implies it's tinkers. So does that mean melter? Uh, I would imagine so. Thankfully, however, unlike uh, FTB interactions, this shouldn't be as hard to make now. We just need glass, porcelain. Porcelain is just clay and bone meal, and I know we know how to get both of those. So that's something I'm going to go and make some porcelain. I'll make up the, the Tinker's Melter, or whatever it's, uh, the Tinker's Complement Melter, and we'll put it over here. Now we're able to basically grab some cobblestone and uh, get more lava easily. So I shifted back up to using regular furnaces now that we've got infinite cobble available, and I'm going to put some more in, but for now, I just want a piece of glass. We've already made the porcelain tank, we just need to make the rest of it, so that is something like this with glass in it. Yep, it's the melter, and then we're going to need a... Uh, uh, wow, uh, the faucet? Oh, we need unfired faucet, that's interesting, that's an unusual... That's an unusual change. Uh, do I have clay? Probably not. Let's see if can we craft any clay. Uh, unfired porcelain clay. Clay block. I'm short of clay resin, it seems. Hmm. Uh, I do have a tree, but it's not guaranteed to give me clay resin, or at least only a very small amount. And I'm going to need more than that. So let me just craft up a clay tree. One second. Okay, so I crafted the uh, everything up. We've got the melter. It's got some molten tin in from that single tin amber where you get two ingots worth. So you can use that to create a tin sapling with a butch sapling, which just is one of the transformation uh, recipes. You put it, uh, a, the sand sapling in a cauldron full of water, uh, well, cauldron with water in it, and you'll get a butch sapling. Put that through, you'll get a sa tin sapling. So we're going to just plant that over here. And ignore it for now because we're just going to finish up the episode uh, you will then also be able to craft iron amber from that from your various different stuff so we will do just that then we are able to make a stone bucket and then cast this into it so uh in fact hang on i may want that back one second stone bucket um we're going to need molten clay in there and how many ingots? I think that's just going to need two clay. That's okay. We've got those. Put the clay in first. We're going to make a cast out of the bucket. And then from the bucket, we'll be able to make a stone bucket. Uh, no, not a stone bucket. An iron bucket by putting the iron amber through. Uh, we'll actually get six iron from this. And I may need to extend this upwards to have more capacity. Of course, the melter will not do alloys. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, so we're finishing up the episode now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to uh, put comments down below with tips and tricks for other people wanting to start off Sky Factory 4. And uh, let me know if you prefer this again versus FTB interactions, and we'll see how we get on with either or both. So uh, it's not going to melt up clay. <laughs> Why won't you melt up clay? Uh, uh, is it because this has got something in it still? Uh, I'm going to want some sort of uh, ingot cast. Can I 
Um, can I get rid of this? No, it won't let me pour it away. Can I get rid of it in any other way? I can get rid of it just by using what I did before. So if we just grab a, a sand sapling and we can pour this over. We just need some water. There we go. Put a birch sapling in and that should then pour. That'll then leave the, the molten clay behind it, which we're going to need. Uh, it'd be nice if you could have multiple different things in there, but unfortunately that's uh, just the way it is. There it is, and there's a tin sapling. And let's put the stone bucket in, pour that on top, and then we should end up with uh, iron amber. We can pour this in after it. That'll get three, uh, three ingots uh, is for each bucket, so we're going to need to get six from this, so two buckets worth. But this is only going to store one. Um, yeah, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Uh, I may need another melter at some point, but we'll we'll sort that out between the episodes. I need to store multiple things. I'm just going to take one of those out for now. It'll leave a spare one ironing because I'm going to need, to need to get rid of somehow, but uh, that's fine. So, are you giving me the iron bucket? Let's wait for it to finish. There we go, we've got four ingots, so we should be able to pour that into the cast. And I assume I'm going to end up with one ingot left. Yes, I do. And there's my iron bucket. Ah, oh, it's so hard to get to in Skyblock, but once you have it, it's good. You can just use all kinds of different things. We can then reuse basically everything for lava, so we can just get even more from there and refill this. Much happier and ready to keep going. All right, hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you next time for some more Skyblock 4, and as always, thanks for watching.